what is an IRS scam anyway? Let's define that. So an IRS scam really is going to be someone who takes your social security number. They're going to put it on a fake tax return and file it with the IRS. And so they're just going to say, I'm John Smith. And it could be some guy in India. I'm John Smith. He files a 1040 tax return. He might have some sort of financial information to get it in the ballpark. Who knows? But he could just file a mock tax return and include a bunch of losses, include all these other phony things on your tax return, but their bank account as the refund. So they're going to ask the IRS for a significant refund under your social security number. And it's going to a bank account that once they get the money, they're closing it and they're out. And then unfortunately, when you as the taxpayer go to file your legit tax return, guess what? Now you have a tax return already on file. The IRS is going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. You've already filed your tax return. What are you doing filing this? We've already issued your refund. Then that is when it gets frustrating. The second scam is just going to be like a call scam. They're going to call you and someone's going to be posing as an IRS agent and pressure you into paying a phony tax bill and threaten jail time. So again, remember, the IRS is not going to call you unless you already know the agent and you're under an audit or something like that. If somebody calls you and claims to be the IRS, it is false. But what they're going to want to do is say, hey, if you don't pay this outstanding tax bill, everyone's already kind of scared of the IRS already. So this scam works, puts a lot of fear on people. So it works. They put pressure on you to pay this bill and threaten legal action. And then they're going to have you pay with a Google Play card, an eBay gift card, a Walmart gift card, Target, whatever. Yeah. Wire. Yeah. Money wire. So if you go to Walmart and you go to Western Union, those Walmarts, they have big warnings saying, do not send to money you don't know. If you are paying a tax bill, do not do that. These scams are very common. So just be careful of those people. The IRS is never going to threaten you. If you owe taxes, by law, they have to give you an opportunity to question it or appeal it. They're not just going to show up on your doorstep and put handcuffs on you. And I'm just thinking there's a third type. And there's probably way more scams than this. Oh, yeah. We're oversimplifying it. But like a ghost preparer, you may hear of a ghost preparer. A ghost preparer is someone who's unwilling to sign a tax return. These are unethical preparers, mm -hmm. work with legit CPAs, EAs, reputable tax companies. But if you see an ad on Craigslist or on the side of the street saying, I will prepare your tax return, and they're going to charge you a fee based on your refund. They may falsify a refund, get a big fee, and then they're going to refuse to sign and put their P10 on the bottom. Every paid preparer is required by law to put their name on those tax returns. Mm -hmm. These ghost preparers, their whole job is to just file this phony tax return. Their name's not going to be on this tax return. If you don't know what you're looking at, they're going to file it, get the fee from you, and then they're gone. One thing to note on that is the IRS prohibits people from charging you a percentage of a refund. If someone's offering that, it's sketchy. It's not allowed. It's got a conflict of interest. It's illegal to do that. There, in some cases, our tax credit specialists will estimate your tax credit and they can charge a percentage, but they're not your tax preparers. They're not signing the returns of paid tax preparer. So that should set your warning signals up. Hey, I'll get you a big refund and only charge you 20% of it. No. And, and I'm not going to sign it. Yeah. And consider reporting that person to the IRS.